Hey guys, Simon here. Welcome to Assessment Examination by Wenderly Games. So this game is very inspired, I think, from Analog Horror. Most probably like Mandela Catalog or something like that. So apparently we're going to take a survey about uh, assessing people or something. I don't, I don't know what our exact position is here. But yeah, I let's go into it. The examination will now begin. Okay. Sure. Hello, friend, thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. Ah, okay. All of us here at are very Ooh, happy that's to quite you. loud. If you get the job, that is. Today. Thanks, I guess. Thanks for the support. To see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Okay. Sure. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Alright, I'm gonna wait for it then. How did you hear about this position? Word of mouth? Newspapers? A dream? Oh. Uh, I don't know, scrolling at a certain application, so I don't know, not sure. I guess let's go for word of mouth. Do you have any professional experience in this area? Mm, no, not really. No cl I have. I actually have no clue what I'm getting hired for, so that's a thing. Do you have any ex personal experience in this area? None as well, actually. Do you believe in God? Uh, a bit controversial, but I'm not really one to be faithful, I guess, so I'd say no. Do you fear death? Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Would you fear God? I, if he was real, I guess. Yeah. Do you have people you love in your life? Mm, of course, of course. Only a select few, though. Do you fear losing them? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. That's a thing. Hang on. This might be important, so I'm gonna just take my time and write that down. Okay, so I got it written down. I let's try and click this. In a moment, we will provide you with several I don't know what that means, but you sure. Must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted or threats you should stay away from. Yeah, definitely. Be with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Definitely inspired by Mandela catalog with the abnormalities in people, I guess. Okay, so this guy looks relatively normal. I think we should trust him. Um Look, I don't know if this is like an actual face deformity, but like it does look unusual because it looks like an Instagram filter, I'd say a threat. Okay, she looks relatively normal. I'd say trust. Ooh. Uh He looks like a vampire for some reason. I'd say threat. What's this? Who are you talking to? I was about to say who are you talk who are you fucking or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay, this guy that's this guy looks relatively okay. Ooh, okay, wow, that sent goosebumps right into me. There's something weird with those eyes, but uh oh I don't know. That 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 send that send a shiver right down my spine. I'd say a threat. Okay, there's something weird here. I feel like the sounds are not because I choose trust and threat. It's the fact that I'm choosing for right, what's right and wrong here. I think I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, let's keep going. That guy looks. I I, I trust him. Oh, okay. Uh, a little spooky. I'd say a threat. Okay, what's this paper? Abraham Wallace, diazepam. 5 milligram tablet, take 3 tablets by mouth, nightly. 
Okay. Who's Abraham Wallace? Why do I n need to know this? Okay. I'd say trust. She she looks trust, yeah. She looks normal. Okay, this lady also looks normal. I'd say trust. Yeah, there's something wrong here. I think I'm picking I'm picking some things wrong and the sound is different each time I like press different buttons. I feel like I'm messing up somewhere. Uh I trust. Oh. Francisco Estrada, 19, victim 2. Police department, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi. I'm at Dore Park at the gas station. Actually, in a corner of the Dore Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I, I don't know. He looks fine. It's just he's outside and the door's locked, so I can't tell. He's asking for help, though, so I don't know if you can hear, but he's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, uh, I can unlock it for sure. I, I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously, but... he The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But this is gonna sound, like, crazy to you. Just, I was, just as I was pulling out my keys, I, I saw it. His, his face, his face, you know, he had this look, it reminded me of something, I'd, I don't know what, something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man. Something's off about the kid, like, real off. You're going to let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He, he, he's, he's not dying, I think. He just didn't look right, is all. Kid looked like he just died himself, but... He hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I I've been drinking a little bit, but you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Officer? He must be pale because of blood loss. Oh, whoa, okay. Um, poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight and not- Oh, because he drank too many cheap beers. Okay. What is that? I'm gonna freeze frame that and see what that is post edit, so. Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's. I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It, it's fing creepy. Hmm. Okay, well, the ambulance is uh, still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go and assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. No, you didn't see that little fucker. He's not normal. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime. Right, son? I is that... Is that what it is? Of course. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. Alright. Ave Maria Santissima. Ooh. Ooh! That's the kid? Hell no, that's a threat. That's a big threat. No, no. I ain't trusting somebody who looks like that. That one looks normal, but I feel like it's the same kid. That has to be the same kid. Oh, hi. You look like a filter that I saw. You have now completed oh. the authenticity assessment examination. Oh, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on Oh, uh. Ooh, wow. Ah, oh, god. That's Oof, all right. 8 E 2 A. That's the code. 414. Yeah. That's the code I just wrote down. Oh. Missing. Jansi Hassan. I can't read. The VHS is too strong. 62 years old, 5 foot 2, something. Long. What? Long blade. What? <laughs> Long black hair, okay. Uh, last seen Monday. Jeez, that's really hard to read. 
missing Michelle Kramer 14 years old can't read holy mother of Jesus mm. Wayne Green 20 years old these are missing oh F.E. wait isn't that one of the people earlier F.E. um oh oh I, ca I can't go back Wait, isn't that? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll be free for a couple of weeks. Is this the same person that you know, was shit, asking yeah, for help no, with the kid no, earlier? Uh, yeah, that's just Friday. Friday. Oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be there then. I'll be there. It's just, it oh, just keeps don't, zooming don't in. Ask it I'll, I'll, you know, let's make it a surprise and see what she says. Alright. Okay, cool, man. See you Friday, man. It was too late already. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10 April 23rd, okay. If the letter arrives before that. That's about outside, a month your doors and right now. And wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. Why if not? The real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god. Pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, That's... we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join uh, our uh, ever-growing family. Uh-huh. You have reached the end of your examination. Thanks. Created by Jerry Becerril. Becer Becerril. I don't know. Sorry if I mispronounced it. But yeah, that was assessment examination very creepy i don't like the deformations that are happening half the time but my guess is this isn't all there is to it obviously it's just too too open-ended kind of i'm still confused on many things but as you know as i always say i'm not gonna 100 percent a game just for you guys just, uh, just... look i'm talking here man <laughs> I'm trying to end the video. Leave me alone. But yeah, as I said, you guys can play the game for yourselves. Make sure to support the developer. And once again, the game's link is in the description. Make sure to support the developer. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.